This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe. And well, Meek Mill has had a rough day, okay, with these Diddy allegations of him being taken advantage of, bent over by Diddy. Now, do I believe that happened? No. Nicki Minaj has been trying to tell you about Meek Mill, though. He's a little, he's not who you think he is. That's what she basically says. This guy treats his mom bad and all this other stuff. She even went on a soldier boy thing with him. I think it's a lot of undercover brothers in the industry. <laughs> oh, oh no, Queen. We don't know nothing about undercovers. Oh no. We don't know about that. Okay. Uh, Cause I do. <laughs> ah! Yo. Man. Because he was named as the Philly rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Meek's got a lot of suspect pics out there, bro. They say Meek Mill was in Nicki's closet like when she left the house. He was trying to wear all her clothes. They say this is why they were staring at Meek like this. Nicki Minaj also put out that Meek Mill mistreats his family. He acts like some type of czar, bosses them around, and manhandles them with money. And uh, Meek Mill says, this computer generated ish, really deep faking, trying to destroy the top place winners. Most people not smart enough to, to outbeat a computer. They sheep. I can't be destroyed through a computer. I'm outside. Bruh. Nicki Minaj, uh, she said a lot about Meek Mill. Now, um, let's get to the rest of these topics real quick. Uh, Andrew Tate also went back and forth with Meek Mill. Andrew Tate said, so P. Diddy was having SEX with Meek Mill and Usher? Meek Mill says, wasn't you trafficking women? What's wrong with you, Brody? And Andrew Tate says, I was only asking because everyone's saying it happened. All he had to do was put cap, but now nah, he had to go back and forth with Tate. Meek's going out real sad, bro, in 2024. This might be it for him. This might be it for him, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. He's been in the game for 14 years. He arrived 14 years ago. Really been in the game for 20 years, okay? But he only got on in 2010, right? And I like Meek, but Meek, Meek talks too much. Let's just see what he's been t talking about on Twitter uh, today. I mean, I probably, I probably just when I stepped away, probably typed even more. Let's see. I'm the pri P R I on. No need to hype it. This is off till twelve to tap with the supporters. It's out of three groups that's doing these type of campaigns. When I found out, we're going to take them all to war. Stop trying to take, stop my family's wealth. Something never seen before will happen in the industry, even if I got to risk my life for it. Now y'all see how bad they want to stop you when you drop independent music. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing the, he's going the Russ way, right? He's pretending... Russ is different. Russ really was independent. Meek, you haven't dropped anything independent yet. You're independent, and it shows you need a label. The only thing you dropped was Rick Ross, and Rick Ross is the one who made it happen. Okay, I'm finally back in Philly. First, I need to rush. What? Uh, let's see. Bro, don't explain yourself. The internet really be getting to you guys. And Meek Mill says, nah, I'm just keeping them, keep them talking till 12. My new shit drop, tap in. Oh yeah, this is his rollout. It's, is it Thursday or Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Y'all really want me to go full heat, heathenism? Y'all see the rappers with gay styles, what they want to look like. Leave that to them. Nah, you're early before the look was cool. YouTube creators target black celebrities with AI, make fake news. 
Ah, uh, Meek. You're going out bad, bro. See, these things that Meek Mill drops now. Meek Mill 12 8, Meek Heathenism Pack. Ugh. I wish Meek Mill would stop. <laughs> I wish Meek Mill would just stop for a minute, man. Stop. Uh, heathenism. Barbaric morals of behavior. Barbarism. Yeah. That's why Diddy's so attracted to him. Yo, man. Yo, heathenism. Whoa. There's another form of this. What is he? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. It's a religion. Heathenism or Germanic heathenry, also called poetic Edda, as well as some old English texts like Beowulf. Federal, it's polytheistic, and it centers around a pantheon of deities from pre christian mix of Old English and Old Norse, omnipotent or omnipresent. In heathenism, the deities and spirits are honored in sacrificial rites known as bloats, in which food and libations are offered to them. And some practice. Oh, man. I bet you Meek doesn't even know what heathenism is. Learn about, it says, so much to learn about paganism. Is that part of heathenism? It encompasses diverse community and some groups consume specific traditions, practices, elements such as witchcraft. I mean, did Meek really name his thing this? Heathenry, modern pagan neo religion, its followers, heathens, inspired by pre Christian religions. Europe's Germanistic social. Oh, let's see. Yo, Meek is lost, bro. So, Candace Owens sits down with Joe Budden. Obviously, that triggers uh, Peter Rosenberg, who's a softy, who's full woke. I love this so much. I know I don't know who Peter Rosenberg is, is what Candace Owen says. But I want to thank him for freaking out, freaking out about this. One of the topics Joe and I covered is exactly is behind trying to prevent and fracture Black American relationships via the internet. Peter Rosenberg, I would like to invite you to shut up uh, when Black people are speaking to one another. Peter Rosenberg is a plantation supervisor. His dad, M.J. Rosenberg, worked on Capitol Hill for Democratic senators and House members for 20 years and then worked with AI PAC for six years. As Joe Budden and I so discussed, there's government vested uh, interest in keeping black Americans ignorant. They are fed filth. 70% illiteracy rate is proof of that. Yeah, I don't know, man. Peter Rosenberg's not not a good person. I know that. Uh, judge approves Big Meech's request to be released early by 32 months. He will be home next year, 2025. Hopefully he gets home a little earlier than that, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to leave everything at that because... Let's see, like, Nikki... Nikki talks. Meek Mel. Let me see... You open up break up with Nas and Meek. Nikki exposes Meek Mill. I think that was one. They both drag each other on Twitter. I remember that. She talked about, imagine talking about an alleged R.A.P.E. Of, of a child to hurt someone who wasn't involved just so people can dislike me. You can never stand on your own. You won't tell people the mo your mother's on tape asking me for twenty million to make the charge go away. Though the mother's, uh, you was around, you know. See us soon. You beat your own sister and taped it. Spit on her and taped it. Kicked me in front of your mother and sent it to sent her to the hospital. Sucking drink D I C K made you feel tough again. Move on. 
Meek Mill said, for clarification, I don't hit women. I won't let my interviews be filled with questions about her or any situation to do with her. Double tra- I think Meek Mill's a bad person, I'm going to be honest with you. That's just me. Because I think money made Meek Mill, like having millions of dollars, exposed who Meek Mill really is. Power. Sometimes that exposes who you are. It doesn't make you anybody different. It makes you feel invincible. Yeah, Meek. Just do the music, bro. You're really good at making music.